Well, we're back with red um, red curry, um, red beef curry. Um, the meat is cooked. It's finished now at uh, five thirteen. I don't know if you saw the time when it was cooking, but it was about it'd been on the broil about ooh, a good 25, 30 minutes. So, um, yeah, it's, ha it's had a fair bit of time to cook. Okay, so let's have a look. So I strained my rice. This is the pot that I used. So you can see that I didn't have much residue. I might try to grab a few more teaspoons out of that. But that's what yellow rice, my yellow rice turned out. And that was brown rice. So that gives you an idea how good that's for my next cooking. What I need. This one here. <coughs> and that's my veggies. Now let's have a look at the important one, the meat. Oh, it smells, oh, it smells divine. I am telling you, I, I am not joking. It's, um, it needs a taste test. Let's try a bit of the sauce. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is good. That That is good stuff. All right. So, what we're going to do, is we're going to pop it in the trays here and uh, see how we go. So, I usually just... Make sure they're all about even. So one. It's going to be a bit harder because normally I do this with two hands. Might, what I'll do is I'll, I'll bring all my, my stuff over to where I'm working. We'll bring the mountain. We'll bring the mountain to Muhammad because that's the smart thing to do. Okay. So I always go rice first. Like I said, it's hard to do with one hand. All those other people, they have all this gear set up. I don't have time for that. Or, or the, yeah, I just don't want to right now. <laughs> I've got enough, enough things on my plate. So that's one, one of these spoons each. Two. It should easily do about five, five meals. So, let's look at that one. Yeah, I'm trying to do this one-handed. It's very hard. <laughs> hey, the rice is fine. This, this whole straining the rice, washing the rice and all that rubbish. No. No, I think we can get a um, six meal out of this. I'm just going to... I'm just going to get another container. I'll be right back. Uh, make sure that everything's about even. Well, just in case there's, uh, there's enough there for another, another plate. Let's get a container. Yeah, you don't throw these out. You always just wash them and keep them until they're dead. Like, do not waste money buying new containers all the time. That is stupid. Okay, we don't we don't do that. That's not how the world works. Same with the pots and pans, you know. Like when people are throwing out pots and pans, these are um, given to me because someone was going to throw them out. Well, there's nothing wrong with them. So, yeah. Why spend money when someone else is going to spend money for you? up the rest of the rice once this video is done. Okay, I need some tongs. Of course I can't find my tongs. There they are. Now we can spread out the veggies. So I just made, made sure there was enough Brussels sprouts for one each. Because I like my Brussels sprouts. So I want one each. I don't know what people have against Brussels sprouts. There's nothing wrong with them. I think it's when we were kids, you know, you always you're told you're told certain veggies are, you know, the car, the television shows. Oh, that's yucky. So in your head you're always like, oh, that's yucky. But in fact, it was never yucky in the first place. There was nothing wrong with it. Let's 
just that's in your head that's what you're told so that's what you end up believing and you get the same with TV shows so like you know it's all it's all marketing and advertising really so I might just put the phone down in a minute just so I can uh, so I can work my magic sorry I'm gonna work my magic can sit on the lemonade can if it's good enough. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I've got to work with magic here. I just can't do it with one hand. It's not working for me. But yeah, a lot of people, you know, you're told, oh, that's yucky, you shouldn't eat that. Well, what if there was nothing wrong with it? You just never try it because you just believe too much garbage you read on the TV. You missed out. That's your fault. So don't don't be like that. Yep. That's been good. The rest of that rice. So I just couldn't do this with uh, with uh, one hand. It was just getting too difficult. Make sure you get sauce with it as well. Can't have red beef curry without sauce. For you. So this is our finished product. So they've all taken three lots of meat servings with a spoon, with a big giant giant spoon. Two two servings of, of the rice and the veggies have been evenly dis, disputed. And that is six meals there. Six meals for that's almost a week. One more meal and you've got a whole all your cooking done for, for meals for one person whole week. All done. Red beef curry, my friends. Red beef curry. So that's what that's what it should look like, and that's what that's what it is. So I hope um, you can get your cook on and enjoy. Peace.